give stuff like that a go. Um, I don't really go out camping or do any of that kind of thing very often. But um, yeah, it's a different kind of heat and it's a different kind of ball game altogether. Um, you know, whichever it is. Um, you just got it's, it's just practice at the end of the day and you know you will burn things you will mess things up and you'll be like oh god i've burned this but you're learning this is how you learn guys you you will make mistakes and you know um i can't really give much of an opinion on it because i don't really done much work with fireplaces outside and um, i've used them before obviously to do barbecues and things and you know been camping once or twice but um yeah it's a different ball game you haven't got a great control on the heat so it's a little bit more um, fundamental with trying to trying your best to control the heat, but um, you know you don't have much control over it. It's just experience. It's just practice at the end of the day. Where are eggs? If you do not egg, so let's get, play CS:GO and join assault. Are you are you feeling all right, uh, spy? How you doing, my friend? Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing good. There's your egg. <laughs> oh God. Um, I don't think we used any eggs today, so far. I don't think we're going to use any eggs at all today. It's going to be an egg-free day today. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. So I'm going to put a very small amount into the um, mackerel patty that we're making. So a bit of horseradish yogurt into it. Might just either use my hands or just mix it with this. We'll see. We put, lem we put lime in here. This is going to add like a nice horseradish and lime taste to it. Fantastic. So, have a taste. See where we're at. Oh my god. That's so good. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. And more yes. That's good. That's really good. I'm extremely happy with that. That is nice. I'm going to put a little bit more of a zest and kick into it. Um, we're going to have the yoghurt here. Let's have a look. That yoghurt got enough kick in it. That yoghurt needs more of a kick up the backside. Have another spoon of horseradish. Don't want it too wet though, because we want the yoghurt holding together, because this is the only yoghurt I've got left now. So don't mess it up, chef, or you... Uh, I mean, yeah, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, done the horseradish now. That's fine. I can get rid of this solution. Leave it here if I want it for later. But yeah, this mackerel patty, good to go. That's fantastic. I'm going to cling this and pop this in the fridge if I've got room. I don't think I have, actually. We'll find some room. It's not a problem. Are you using yogurt as a binder since we have no eggs? Yeah, definitely. Um, pate, FYI, doesn't have egg eggs in it. If you're making a parfait, parfait has eggs in it. That's the difference. Um... You get a metal plate and stick it, stick the pot on that for a campfire and helps control the heat. Okay, see, I don't even know about that. I'm not very uh, camping style kind of chef. So uh, you guys probably know more about it than I do. Mason's Mikey sneaks in for a late class. How's it going, my friend? You're never too late, buddy. You're always welcome. Thank you as well. Uh, simplify and wrap. Wrap, wrap, wrap. How's it going, Sunshine? How are you doing today? Um, hope you guys are doing good. Thank you guys for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Hey up, chef. What's the crack? What's up, soldier? It's good to see you, my friend. How are you doing? How are you doing today, my friend? We are making a mackerel pate. We've got beetroot jelly in the fridge. Uh, horseradish yogurt. Right here, mackerel pate. It's got a bit of horseradish yogurt in that mixed up. Beautiful. Bit of lime. Nice. Uh, we're making a chia and rye seed uh, wholemeal crisp which we're going to make next and we're going to make some pickled mini vegetables so we've got some beets cooking off in the stove they're almost done uh, we've got some baby turnips as well which we're going to probably cook off next actually and we've got some cucumbers to pickle with it so it's going to be absolutely delish so guys i hope you're going to enjoy this dish today i certainly am um, i hope you guys are too i have been out enjoying the sun with the dog that's awesome mikey um you gotta make make the most of the sun sun is awesome um it's it's definitely worth enjoying. Not much on the side of the river. Good to see you as well, bud. Good to see you as well, soldier. Awesome, my friend. Um, thank you so much for stopping by as well. It's good to see you. Um, 
Right, I'm gonna need a little bit of drink because um, me talking away, God, dehydrates me a little bit. And yes, Josh, we're doing a 12 hour stream tomorrow, special stream from Partnership uh, Celebration. So I'm making tomorrow artisan bread. I'm gonna make some healthier pizza and we're gonna make some delicious lemon meringue pie, which is gonna be reduced sugars and reduced fats. And we're gonna do it very sexily and very tastily. So it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be fun. Certainly do not miss that guys tomorrow. I'm gonna be on here all day tomorrow. So it's gonna be really, really, really cool. Um, right, what we're gonna do, cook off those um, baby turnips. I'm gonna get this into a smaller bowl possibly because um, I can't get that in my fridge. Um, that will be a no-no and I'm gonna have trouble with it. Let's have a look what we got. Probably be able to get that in my fridge. So if you bear me one second guys, I'm just gonna swap this over. So that's bound together, that's looking nice. Guys, you can add whatever flavor you want to this mackerel pate. It's very simple, it's very dead easy to make. It's not hard. This is cooked already, I've used smoked mackerel. Absolutely delicious. I've put some horseradish yogurt through it, some lime. What a beaut. What a beauty, I'm telling you now. Yeah, we're gonna do some lovely breads. Josh, did you see the bread I made when I first did my very first stream? Do you remember that? But I'm pretty sure you were the first one here when you were first when you first started watching me. Did you remember seeing it? You need a bigger kitchen, yeah. Tell me about it, cool, cool man. But I certainly don't have the money, and uh, this is the all I can use at the moment, my friend. Um, shoulda, coulda, woulda. I know. I know I need a bigger kitchen, but there's nothing I can do right now. Uh, if I get bigger and get more popular, then for sure I'll probably get some money. Um, you know, try and aim for a bigger kitchen, but at the moment, you've got to make do with what you got, I'm afraid, friend. Especially when you're starting up like me. I've only been going for like uh, eight weeks, nine weeks as of tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow's Monday, yes. Week, eight, nine weeks as of tomorrow. So, fantastic. Very happy. I love this streaming streaming stuff it's good fun i do remember the bread for sure uh, we're gonna be making that bread josh i'm gonna be doing it a little bit better than i did last time because it was a bit of a scatty move when i was first started i was very nervous and not myself um so uh, we're gonna do the pizza properly as well i'm gonna do a nice pizza with it uh, with that bread dough and we're gonna do the lemon meringue for tomorrow as well so i felt like uh, nobody missed nobody actually got to see that bread and that bread is fantastic it's a very good bread um, so that's why I want to do it again, so, but slightly different, so we'll see. Need to do some washing up as well, guys. I'm really sorry, but we have to do some washing up. So I don't want to be working it in a absolute tip. I'm going to put that in a squeezy bowl. That's going to need to go in the fridge. The cling film. So guys, please be patient with me. I'm sorting the kitchen out just very quickly and then we can push on and move on to the next next jobs. So I hope you're all well. If you want to ask me questions, feel free guys. Um, you know, I'm quite happy to answer them. <clears throat> so no chives, parsley or colour, or are we add in that for a later garnish? Ducks go, I'm not gonna add anything to this now. I want it to keep it straightforward. Um, we're gonna be adding different colours, different garnishes to it as I, I did explain. We are doing um, cu pickle cucumber, pickle vegetables with it. Um, but if you really want to add parsley and stuff to it, I mean, by all means, you can if you want to. Um, I'm keeping this pate very simple, very straightforward, nothing complex. Um, you know, I don't want to overcomplicate the flavours with the pate itself. It's smoked, smoked mackerel. Um, you can if you want to. It's entirely up to you if you want to do that. That's up to you. Um, we got ourselves the pickled vegetables on there. We've got the beetroot jelly. There's going to be lots of colour on there, my friend. Do not worry. It's not just going to be grey and that's it on the plate. It's going to be a little bit different. So if you be patient, you'll see what I'm going to be doing. Uh, unsure if that was live, but not. But I remember it. That was a while back now. Yeah, it was quite a while back. Chef's going to be rolling in that mad Twitch money. <laughs> and by kitchen so big, he's going to... Uh, ATV to get from the stove to the sink. <laughs> oh god, I love it, soldier. Awesome. I wish. I hope I make some money from this. And you know, what I'm worried about at the moment is actually getting enough money to pay for the the the, the 
ingredients every week at the moment because uh, obviously I'm not working. Um, I don't really care about making money for myself. I do not give a crap about money for myself. I care about this stream. Uh, this stream is what I, I want to do. Um, so yeah, um, if I've got enough money to keep the stream going, I'll be happy. I'm happy with that. So uh, whichever it may be. <laughs> Mikey's back. Power Rangers are getting boring now. Yeah, that usually uh, is what happens after a while. Sorry for the questions. First time I seen mackerel patty, mate. That's okay, my friend. You're more than welcome. Don't be sorry. Uh, you're more than welcome to ask questions. Um, for sure. If you're thinking, oh, chef, I thought you were going to put parsley or, or chives or something in that. You know, maybe some chefs might. Um, I'm a little bit different. Uh, maybe I might. Maybe I won't. You know, I like to change things up sometimes. Um, so, um, yeah, you don't be sorry. Please ask questions. Um, you know, you're more than welcome to ask questions. Don't ever be sorry. There's no such thing as...